いくぞファファァイイイナナルルルルファンンンンンタタタタジジーーーーれれいいいいいいかかかかかかれなななななななななななりりりりりりりりんんんんんんんんんんでで the 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 Ah, that one's alright. And until <laughs> last year, I genuinely thought the aforementioned Goofy was a staple of the Final Fantasy franchise. Turns out he's actually from a different game, but the vibe and art style still never really seemed like my thing. But. I've never been more wrong. I love this game, man. Since I have the number one most important opinion on the internet, I figured I'd grab that pretty little head of yours and shove my new favorite game into those eyeballs.、Uh, d- d- by the way, this is 100% me. Like, when I, when I first like, bought FF four months ago, I didn't think I was going to love it this much. I honestly had no idea I was going to love it as much as I did. <clears throat> so, from the lovable developers to the shocking realization that you've been on copium for years, today I take you through my adventures in Final Fantasy XIV. That's very cool. What got me so invested so quickly? Rabbit girls. Our journey begins here, in Uldar, a city run by the two most evil groups in society tyrannical politicians who do anything for the coin. And short people. Your first impression of La La Fell might be the same as any other small race. Cutesy, played by 40 year old men, and an awkward <laughs> bus ride if you're scrolling through Twitter in public. However, La La Fell,、uh, don't be misled, my viewers. They may have a thin veil of cuteness, but their evil knows no bounds. They're evil. Yeah, stop hitting me! <laughs> I reveal to you the secret of all La La Fell players. The smaller you are. Oh god, look at that. Yep.、Yeah. You can see the sinister in that straight up.、Uh, you can see it. The bigger other races are. <laughs> so, with my cute face, complete lack of ethics, and desire to get a 20 minute sponsored video out without playing, I pulled up my boots and set out into the city to make something. This video is so well edited. Myself. So, I went to my mum for help. With all these transitions. She said I should make some friends and get a fucking job. So, in my bid for power, I began handing out cakes to the local guards, which were definitely not poison. Stop asking questions. Until it came to my attention that the <laughs> princess had gone missing. <laughs> How awfully convenient! Surely whoever would save her must be held in high regard. <laughs> What a lucky opportunity for me to prove myself. Someone's locked in the trunk. <laughs> I decided that I would help find the princess, so I opened my map and started running towards her exact location. <laughs> and that is when I saw. Ah,、oh. oh, it's Nanamo. Nanamo. You just whack her. <laughs> Fear not, princess. Because I am here. Yeah, Alright, this is the Nanamo voice. I don't know how I ended up here, but thank you for saving me, Rabad. <laughs> yeah, that's c- Wait, is this the Ulda? If you chose, like, p u g l i s t or something, this, you would have the story like this in the beginning, where you see Nanamo out in the open like that? Because I don't remember having this cutscene. Holy shit. That's wild. Oh shit, because I started Limza. You know, I, I guess I'm kind of happy I started Limza because I met Yishtola. Not only did I meet Yishtola, but the whole arc there was kind of cool. But at the same time, I would have loved to see Nanamo stuff. And you meet Thanker there as well? Wow. What about Gridania? What do you meet there? Hmm. Who the hell is in Gridania from the Scions? I don't think. Now you mean Thancred, wow. Crazy, how, how'd you get here? Huh, <laughs> ladies. Thancred, there he is. 
<laughs> Would you like this rock? <laughs> think. Feel. Think. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? It was then that I was invited to a feast think, with the feel, royals think. of Uldar. And I graciously accepted my growth and political power. Once again, you'll be happy to know that Technoblade is now safe. Yeah, he always holds her like a parrot. In her own castle. I was hoping to network, but the best seat I could get was next to her dad. And all he wanted to talk about was the war five years ago, where countless lives were lost because of the Asian slash uh, fucking... Uh, <laughs> the Which music. is weird, because I killed one of these guys like 15 minutes ago. That's right. This ain't <laughs> Thank her dancing. Uh, the mood? Like Which is that weird, because I killed one of these guys like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it's so out of character for him to dance like that. You guys know, he, his character changed so much. That's right. This ancient, powerful being was no match for me. A regular, ordinary moon and walker. Who? Adventurer. Damn, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> gonna finish that? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> yep. He is special. <laughs> Mommy. And so Thancred brought me to his friends. The yeah. Squines of the Seventh Dawn. Me. Yeah, in our story, Limza... Uh, Limza? Yushtola brought us here, right? If I remember, yeah. Because I was in Limza, so... She told me about the Scions. Ta heroes. I have awaited your coming. The one everyone <laughs> hates, except for, um, the ones everyone should hate. Welcome! The guy whose dialogue <laughs> doth ye skip. The e-boy. I never doubted that you come. <laughs> and this guy, but we'll get to him later. Wait. Alpha And this guy. He doesn't sit in the corner in the actual MSQ though, right? I don't remember this. He didn't do that, right? This is just like edited in. It's edited in and that's so funny because it looks so real as if it's part of the story. Guy, but we'll get to him That's kind of funny. <laughs> Together they form the stones of the seventh dawn. Poor and the primary goal of this organization is to kill the primals, the primals. Which are demigods summoned by various tribes around the world. Primals usually just mind control anyone that doesn't have your powers. Love because song. this lovely, curvy lady oh. has given you the power to remember things. So it turns out all of those blackouts I had were actually a good thing. And not damaging my brain. And so you <laughs> team up with the members of the Shallots of the Seventh Dawn. But mostly yeah, this, this guy, is crazy. who is 16, internet. You make wonderful <laughs> friends. Use your power for good. And... <laughs> RP to time. tell you any more would spoil things, but trust me, the story in this game is very good, and I like it a lot. Sure, now this sure, can be sure. a very social game, which means you're going to be meeting a lot of new people. And this game can have quite a twisty story, True. with many plot points that can be easily spoiled. Goofy dies in season 2. <laughs> Fucking Goofy. Hmm. Those seem like conflicting qualities. While I admit it can be a little stressful dodging spoilers on my Twitter timeline, True. this game does the- Ah, uh, spoilers. Don't worry guys, in Endwalker, we're gonna- when I stream Endwalker, it's gonna be totally chill. Totally chill. This combo, the best that I think spoil, any baby. game possibly could. And the community, generally, is super anti-spoiler. The yeah. only things I've had spoiled were kind of minor and were kind of accidents. True. And annoying as spoilers are. Yeah, he's actually right. He's right. Most of the spoilers were, like, minor or they did it on accident. That's true. Uh, I am a streamer. Like, they don't deliberately fucking spoil shit for you. Like, hey, by the way, man, Thancred dies. <laughs> <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So I probably have it worse. You've probably mm. already played it, or it's probably only going to be about as bad as- oh, Dude, dude, wait for Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it gets so good at Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it gets so good. But yeah, spoil it. Of course, it gets good at Heaven's Ward because it's the best arc for Alphanu, literally. It's bad, hate them. Now, True. back to the story. I'll be taking my payment. That's like his building moment. Like, Heaven's War was so big for him. Thank you for slaying the primals, but there is more work to be done. Oh, jeez. And we will do it. Oh, 
And so God. I ventured forth <laughs> as the hero I am, ready to save the world. Wait, what? What is that melody? You're dancing. My God, that <laughs> dancing. What uh, are those you're faces stuck. doing? You're stuck in Lindsay. They're smiling. The people were having fun. Oh, and the music. Oh. You're the stuck in Linza forever. Super copyrighted. And as new as I was to the game, <laughs> that was sort of the first moment where it clicked. I mm -hmm. spent the rest of the night taking screenshots with the pals. Look at this guy, he's playing a male character in a video game. <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> he just... Dude, he just roasted... Alright. <laughs> it's a feeling I hadn't felt in a while. Holy shit, he called me out, bro. <laughs> I'm a man, I play men, what do you mean? That's what I do. <laughs> okay. But I mean, the, I, I, I can't lie, maybe one time I thought of playing the cat girl, I mean. Hey guys, it's time for- Maybe I thought, but then I was like, nah, I wanna be, uh, I wanna be- Fight to pay me. his rent. The plan was simple, get in. Honestly, I wanted to do a Devil May Cry kind of look. You guys know Dante from Devil May Cry? I actually wanted to make my character look like him, and it turned out to be like Thancred as well at the same time. Isn't that crazy that it turned out to be like almost my like my favorite character in the game as well? Grab the well. greatest mobile game of all time and get out. And to pull this off, I'm gonna need some backup. Meet my three favorite spooky Halloween champions. Harvest Jack. He's a jack of all trades. <laughs> Miscreated <laughs> monster. He's the brains of the operation. If only. Wait, what is this? What am I looking at right now? Oh, Raid Shadow Legends. They were his brains. And Madame go on a course plan until we got to the vault. But Madame Saris set off the alarms. <laughs> oh no! They're trying to steal the greatest. Put a lot of effort in these in this video. This game great. of all time. Well, I can see why. With over Bird 400 champions Wait, really? to collect, epic dungeons to clear, and a PvP like, arena the where they from can Devil fight Cry? against other players, that would be fools not to. That's oh, kind of interesting. That's my favorite part. Have you seen the commercial with the orc? <laughs> oh, that. Oh, they're getting away. <laughs> Pint. Why? This is the Why'd best way do to do a sponsor. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Have you heard of Raid's newest Halloween update? We're talking big rewards. Tournaments against other players, and that's there not even is. the best part. I'll even be able to get sponsor. my hands on a brand new legendary <laughs> Halloween <a> champion. <laughs> oh, my Uber's here. You know the game's free, right? You could've just downloaded it. Alright, to the FF stuff. Miss Pumpkin? Hi. I, uh, I worked with your husband. He wanted me to tell you to click the link in the description below or scan my QR code to get a free epic hero Chinora. Dude, come on! <laughs> one XP boost, one energy <laughs> refill. But oh add my over. God. Add over, there we For go. For the next week, I farmed the golden source of I think I like it here. Oh, look, there's a racing game. Sweet, I got bunny ears. Now I, I haven't done that racing thing, by the way. Is it fun? I might give that a shot. I can focus on getting a cool outfit. Please, save us. The primals are coming. Did somebody say Palace of the Dead? Sounds pretty cool. Crafting jobs doesn't sound cool, but somehow yeah. is. I could have sworn there was something I was- I like that crafting, you have to use abilities. You have to use abilities to actually craft an item. It's like a different way of crafting in an MMO ever. It's crazy. What's supposed to be doing right now? Diva. It's very <laughs> easy to I'm get sidetracked in this game. And I think that's a discovery True. we all make along the way. Mom, True. Dad, I have something to tell you. I decided to quit my job as a hero and become a dancer. A dancer? Well, the party buffs are useful. No, father. True. Like this! One of the best parts about this game is that there's so many definitions of endgame. There's your usual solo content or rating or whatever. But under little rocks here and there, people create songs, dance routines, fashion, interior True. design, economic domination. Some of the most hardcore players I've met are high-end ultimate raiders. Yeah. And yet, they are mere insects beneath the boots of role players. The penultimate <laughs> form of a Final <laughs> Fantasy player. Logging on daily to take cute screenshots and dance. And that's like kinda <laughs> not even a joke. <laughs> and having- Th It's not a joke. This is 100% true.
done a couple raids, it's not like the raids are bad either. It's actually some of the most fun I've ever had raiding. Just it's go just to Linda. you have a choice now. The driving force is fun. Nothing is mandatory and everything is encouraged. Because to make a fantasy world feel real, you need your sweaty oh, adventure song. And your made cat girl photography enthusiasts. Now I think it's about time I got round at killing those primals. Or... <laughs> I could do something better. What if I told you that me, the best mage player in the whole world, the betrayer of guilds, found an even greater foe? This content would make even the most experienced How does he do the expressions? Goes quick with fear. That's right. And they stay that I way. Decided to try and buy a house. But there's a few catches with buying houses. Oh. Buying a house is apparently savage to your guys. Firstly, there's a finite number of houses <laughs> on any server. There's just under 400,000 houses in all of Final yeah, Fantasy, it. which is not a lot. When Are they making this easier in Endwalker? I want to get an FC for my house, but uh, we're going to get an Ishgard. I want a house in Ishgard. You consider the player count, and slots only become available when someone doesn't log in for 45 days. I'll tell yeah. you about the second catch in a minute. Y'all log in. It's a big one. Ahem, <clears throat> attention everybody, there is a fucking house for sale. I ran to the plot. Looked around a little, and I hovered over the purchase button. Was yep. this truly where I wanted to live? Yes. Even if you did, you're probably not gonna get it. This would be <laughs> nicely. So I clicked nope. purchase. Nope. Nope. Oh. So here's the second catch. At some point in a 24 no, hour period, the house will randomly become available for sale. Uh. Meaning, to acquire a house, you have to repeatedly it's do this and true. hope that you're the person that purchases the house the, locking the moment RP. it becomes available randomly in a 24-hour period. Yeah, fuck it. I don't have time it's for this. It's not a joke. I give up. Now, now, that's not the pint I know. <laughs> well, I guess there is one thing I could do. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know, it's kind no, of dumb. No, 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 what, what, what is it? <laughs> I mean, I could, uh, I could, <clears throat> I could exploit the working class. Meet wife havers. Oh, the things we'd do together. Wife havers. The conquests we'd march. Right after you guys buy a house, <laughs> you know, for the guild. <laughs> we had two people around the clock clicking a placard and the rest of us would sit there to make it seem like there was more competition than there was to scare off potential competitors it was truly a chance for us all to buy <laughs> a learning experience and what i learned in this experience is that my friends are fucking psychopaths <laughs> this is job she was there for 40 hours over four days oh how do i know uh, this only the fucking google doc we created to track the hours count, oh my the god opening times, and to see how close we were to committing human rights violations now now keep camping you wouldn't want to go back to torgast would you <laughs> after about three days though one of our happy little campers yeah listen i'm not sitting there for 40 hours if that's what it takes to get a house uh-uh forget it Especially, you know, when I have, like, so many classes to level up and so much, like, other stuff to do. I discovered something. Something that would blow this case wide open. Take a look at this chart. Yep, turns out in the first eight hours, the chances of a plot opening are basically zero. And for the creamy, most Whoa. efficient strat possible, you want to click in this four-hour window. Ah, uh, yes. Huh. Only four short hours of clicking. As luck would have it, on the dawn of the fourth accurate. day, during prime time, I sent Jub a very funny meme. And she tabbed out for a moment to look at it. It's over. The house. It sold. Oh no. Psych, we bought the house. It was us. It was us. It was our backup clicker. Ah, There's yeah. always a backup clicker. <laughs> and now we had... There was always a backup clicker. <laughs> You gotta have the backup, dude. I uh, just can't imagine sitting 40 hours just clicking to make sure. And then you have a backup clicker to kind of back you up when you all tap. At a place to call That's funny. Home. And we relocated immediately because the goblet, say it with me, is, is for, for broadcast bitches. bitches. <laughs> so they, 
They moved out ah, immediately. So Final Fantasy, huh? Crazy to think that it was always fucking here. It has been very refreshing. True. And at the risk of sounding a bit too serious, it's taught me a lot of valuable things about myself. True. Trying new things, being a nicer person. I, I actually 100% agree with that. Um, yes, this is so accurate. Trying new things is fun as well. You know, like, even I came from another MMO, I didn't want to look down on other MMOs, and I picked one that I really just felt like, you know what, this might be worth a shot. I've got a bunch of new friends, way True. less stress. True. And honestly, man, just kind of a better outlook on life. I don't think it's just the game that's done that, but still. I agree. I'm happy. Plus, I got this house. Yep. <laughs> the house matters. Well, that was good. Okay, that was good. I like that video a lot. That was good. He's right what he said at the end. That's so true. Like, playing this game automatically makes you, like, uh, like happier. <laughs> it's true. It's true, actually. You know, the, the thing is, I, I don't think it's just the community. I think it's just also uh, the way the devs view it. And the community that's built around it is fucking awesome. Yeah. 100%. For four months playing the game. Yeah.